Thanks for clicking. My name is Mark Mitchell. I'm a mortgage broker here in London, Ontario. The Ontario real estate market has surged to nearly unprecedented levels in the last year, with prices going up almost 20%. In Toronto, headlines were made last week that the prices were up over 18% from the previous year, with the average sale price being $1,136,000. We've been told to blame the surge in prices on a lack of supply and not any of the other issues that, that could be contributing to the surge in house prices. Low interest rates, cash on people's balance sheets, needing new space. But I'm sure supply is also a big part of it. Housing supply actually made major headlines throughout the recent federal election as each of the three parties rushed to see who could promise to build the most amount of houses, with the NDP are promising to build 500,000 houses, the Conservatives 1 million, the building of 1 million homes, Prime Minister promising to build 1.4 million new homes. 1.4 million Canadians in a new home. 1 million in a new home. But now we actually have data. In a report released this month, they found that Ontario is actually in need of over 1 million new homes over the next 10 years, just to keep par with, what, with how we've been going. So in order to keep supply and demand where it is right now, the report argues that we need 910,000 new homes. Considering we're only on track to build around 700,000 new homes over the next 10 years, that's a tall order. So what I want to do today is go over the findings in the report, go over the drive to qualify phenomenon and go over some of the report's conclusions and see where what's the likelihood that Ontario is going to actually be able to build those 1 million new homes. We do have more data coming out this month with the Bank of Canada set to release its monetary report and with it more predictions for the housing market so we will have updates on that and of course the weekly update on the real estate uh, crisis in China so make sure you click like and subscribe to get those updates but for now let's get into those 1 million new homes. As mentioned, the report found that we need to build another 910,000 homes in Ontario just to keep pace with, with where we are now. Typically, Ontario builds around 70,000 new homes per year. However, according to the CBC, Ontario had 80,000 housing starts in 2020. That was the most ever. So we are building a little bit more than we used to, uh, about 10,000 more homes, but with only 10,000 more homes per year making headlines, that's going to leave us well short of the 30,000 per year that we need extra that we need to do in order to hit that 1 million new home mark. Um, and the reason for these new homes, as you can imagine, is the newcomers to Canada. The report details that 2.27 million more people are expected to reside in Ontario over the next 10 years. And the laws of supply and demand, if you have more people and don't have anywhere to put them, prices are going to go up. It's it's that simple. Prices have already been going up and it's a little wonder if you look at the data released in the report for all of the newcomers to can to Ontario cities we're busting at the seams. In Toronto in the next five years alone it's estimated that an additional 275,000 net newcomers with another 193,000 five years thereafter will need to be accommodated in the city. That's 400,000 more people coming to Toronto in the next 10 years, 40,000 per year. It's no wonder why the report is arguing that we need to really bump up supply. And this brings us to the drive to you qualify phenomenon. Drive to you qualify is where people from Toronto and the GTA drive further and further out until they can qualify to buy a house. With the price surges that we've seen with the advent of COVID and ultra low interest rates, the report details that over the past, uh, over the past one year, over 60,000 people have left Toronto and have moved to as far as, as far out as they needed to in order to qualify for a mortgage. This has really hit my hometown, London, Ontario, quite hard, and we've seen our prices go up well over 20% just in the past year alone with people coming down from Toronto. If you talk to any Londoner, they'll tell you stories about either themselves or friends of theirs that have been outbid by people coming from Toronto. So clearly, the, the drive to qualify phenomenon is very real, it's detailed in this report, and it's going to be getting even worse if the supply crisis isn't taken care of in the short and long term future. And this is borne out in the report as well. It's expected over the next five years that London and Middlesex County will see another 50,000 newcomers over and above what we already have. So that might, seem like, that might not seem like a whole lot, 
But if we have, say, 80,000 in the next 10 years, that's a 20% increase, which is quite a bit for a smaller city relative to Toronto. So the strive to get qualified phenomenon is real and it's not going to be helped unless more and more houses are built. So given the nearly half a million newcomers that are coming to Toronto in the next 10 years, and the drive to qualify phenomenon that we've already seen borne out over the past few years, Ontario needs to get building. They need to increase their efforts by over 25% year over year for the next 10 years. That's a tall order, given that we have major supply constraints and the inflation that's been popping up. We don't have as much as many lockdowns as we have for the past year, but there's definitely still supply issues and that's not expected to get any better, uh, at least in the short term future. So there could be some issues, uh, some major supply issues going forward. And with those major supply issues, obviously come, come higher prices and, uh, and shortages. So it's, judging from this report, it doesn't look as though prices will be coming down anytime soon without at least some intervention of more supply. With all of that said, even the report notes that these numbers work with the way things are right now. A major policy change or a major external shock, say if a COVID variant hits and we are back in lockdown again, or a major shock to the world economy, such as the real estate crisis that's happening right now in China, um, stagflation, anything could slow down this process. So nothing is set in stone as of yet. What this report is saying is that if things remain the same, certiris paribus, all things being equal, that we were going to have these supply issues with the newcomers coming coming to the Ontario cities, and that if we want to, if we don't want to see our house prices skyrocket even more, then we do need to get building. But this report's crystal ball works as well as bet mine or as yours. So like we said, nothing set in stone. Um, if you want to be prepared and you want to get updates on this, make sure you click that subscribe button and we'll have those as they come out. Thanks for watching.